Okay, everybody, I'm working on an oil change here on my 2014 Chevy Camaro SS. This is the LS3. I uh, had a request to do this type of video. I would expect that most people know how to do an oil change at this point, but if you don't, there's no better time to learn than now. Uh, <clears throat> if this is helpful to you, please like and subscribe. It really helps me with putting together more of these types of things for you. Um, an oil change on this motor is really easy. What you'll need is a socket with a 15 uh, millimeter, uh, either deep or short, doesn't matter. Um, you're going to need a, an oil filter. I used um, an HP 1017 oil filter from k and I really prefer the k and oil filters. And you will need 7.5 quarts of Mobile One 5W30. The manufacturer recommends Mobile One. I've never gone wrong with it. And... Um, this is a heavily modified motor with a cam, uh, headers, uh, high flow heads. Mobile One has never done me wrong, so that is my recommendation. What you'll do is jack up the car, and uh, you do that by finding the frame rail here on the front of the car underneath, and you will also uh, put a jack stand on it so that um, you're safe and it doesn't fall down and hurt you. Uh, once you have that up on the oil pan itself, you will see a bolt, that's your 15 millimeter drain bolt. You will drain that all out into a catch pan, as you can see here. And you also take the oil filter off, which is found, uh, you can see it in white there. It's right next to the oil pan, half the oil pan is cut out for it. That should also be hand tight, but you may need to use a pair of channel locks or an oil filter wrench to take that off. You'll take that off and drain it into your fill pan, and once you're done, take your new oil filter, uh, take a little used oil, and grease up the um, uh, gasket on the new filter, and then screw it hand tight into place, and also tighten your 15 millimeter drain bolt back up on the pan. Uh, at that point, you'll come to the top here. Your motor might look a little different because mine does not have a cover, but you have your filler neck here. Put a, a funnel in, and you're going to put seven and a half quarts of Mobile One back into it. Now, keep in mind that you'll need to dispose of your used oil properly. O'Reilly or any of the shops will take it for you and um, recycle it. So, that is it. An oil change is easy. It only takes 10 or 15 minutes here in your driveway or your garage, and uh, should save you some money over the dealership or one of the oil change places. Um, so there you go. If you have questions, uh, ask in the comments. I'm always happy to help. And uh, most of all, like and subscribe. It really helps me. Thank you, everyone.